All righty. Today is Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. I'm Jason Shapiro with Crowded Market Report. Trying to figure out where risk reward here is. And I tell you, for me at least, it's pretty difficult to determine. We have mixed signals um, everywhere. The positioning in certain areas, uh, like the NASDAQ, we see here, like the Russell, um, is showing a little bit of crowdedness to the long side. Um, but at the same time, we hear stories of hedge funds, you know, selling tech stocks for, I don't know how many weeks in a row. Um, and then we have stories of inflows into tech ETFs at highs. So it's, to me, it's very mixed signals here. Um, from a psychology point of view, if we're looking to fade mass consensus, trying to find what mass consensus here is, is, is difficult. Um, I tend to favor not being short over time and I'm not short here. Um, but it, it's, it's difficult here. <laughs> really, really difficult, which is why it's no trade to me. And, and listen, I've been saying it's been difficult for a while here and look what the market's done. It's really, you know, just whipped around. I mean, um, truthfully, the, the, the stock market really hasn't gone very far, um, really since, you know, we're going all the way back to March in a lot of cases, right? The Russell's lower than it was then. You know, the Dow is a little bit higher, but not very much. And this is sort of the, the, where we're at here. Um, the energy markets clearly are telling us that, uh, you know, there, there's weakness. Um, and we know there's weakness in China. It was funny that yesterday was an announcement over the weekend of there was some more weakness in the China economy and, and the energies went up. And that turned out to be a humongous head fake because they went straight down today and made new lows. So this is the kind of market we're in as well, too. I think there's a lot of head fakes available out there and, and you have to be careful of that. Um, gold keeps going up. Silver actually tried to fail today on intraday basis and came back and went up. Um, and bonds, I mean, bonds are basically on new highs. Look, this is 30 years. This is 10 years are on new highs. This is five years even higher, and this is two years even higher. So what does this tell us? It tells us the curve has been steepening. Um, why is the curve been steepening? We're expecting a rate cut. So short end theoretically goes up more than the long end. That's normal. I think that that's right. I think that's what the market should be doing. And that, and that is what the market's doing. But then what happened in dollar today, right? The dollar index, uh, was a little bit higher, but, um, but the yen was higher too. Well, what's the yen doing higher today when stocks are for the most part up on the day? I, I thought there was a negative correlation there. So, you know, we're, it's very random. And look, we have the CPI, obviously, is the big thing for tomorrow. Is a weak CPI bullish stocks? Because weaker numbers up until this point for the last hmm, month or so um, have not been good for stocks. It's been bad for stocks. Is a stronger CPI good for stocks? Hard to argue that that's the case. Um Hard to argue either way, but maybe that's the point here. Maybe if everything is bear stocks now, psychology wise, then maybe the thing to do is be long, you know, which I am not. Um, I don't have signals to do that for my process, but maybe that's what's going on here. People have gotten negative into these numbers here, and therefore it's going to squeeze higher, um, to get that negativity out of there. That might be the thing. Um, I don't have big conviction with that. I don't have big conviction with anything right here. So um, I think it's really a time to sit. I know I say this a lot, but um, it, it seems like not the time to be greedy on either side here. Let the market tell us, you know, let's let the market come out weaker tomorrow. Let, let, let the CPI come out weaker tomorrow and um, let the market rebound on that. And then maybe we can say, you know, it's trading better. Um, you know, other than that, I, I can't really see a huge, a huge 
risk reward advantage here, uh, really almost anywhere. Um, although I do think the yield curve trade is good, but other than that, um, and I think the yield curve trade is good because if they're lowering rates and yet the economy is still strong, then the short end is going to stick with the Fed funds and the long end will start to reflect the fact that the economy is still good and it will discount in more growth and more future inflation in the future. So therefore, the yield curve should steepen. Um, and that is what's going on. So I think that's really the only trade I have on right now. And uh, therefore, what I think is the best trade here, or at least the best risk reward trade here. Okay. So that's about it. Um, as things change, I will talk about that more. But as of now, it seems as if uh, most of the risk reward out there right now is to sit, wait, watch, listen, and wait for an opportunity to occur. Okay. So that's about it for me. Please check this out. CrowdedMarketReport.com. If you like our video, please like it. If you don't like it, then don't. Um, Substack, Crowded Market Report on Substack, Twitter, blah, 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 all that stuff. Okay, have a good day. Hope everyone's doing all right. And uh, we will talk again soon, hopefully when things are a little bit more clear and a little bit more opportunistic. Thank you.